Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.4 to the public. It's been a long time coming and brings some much anticipated features. Now, depending on the device you're on, it's going to have different sizes. So you'll see this was 2.18 gigabytes on an iPhone 8 Plus, but on an iPhone 10, it was 331.1 megabytes. So depending on the device you're on. Now, if you're on the beta program and you want to up update to this and install this, you'll need to go to your settings, go to general, go down to profile and delete the profile, then reboot, then check for an update and you'll have the update. It did take me a couple tries to check for the update and then it showed up. Now this particular update brings two major features. One of those is messages in the, in the cloud or iCloud. And what that means is all of your messages in iMessage are synced across to all of your devices. So if you're using an iPad, an iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and an iPhone 10, whatever you're using, or a MacBook, it will sync across all of those devices. So maybe you have a conversation, you delete that conversation, it will delete from here and whatever other device you might have besides the iPhone. So it's a really useful feature. It's something that Apple promised with iOS 11.3 and never delivered, or actually iOS 11 and never delivered. So now it's in iOS 11.4 and you can use it and it works just fine. If you want to enable that though, you have to go to settings, then go to your account here. You'll tap on iCloud and then you'll tap on messages here and turn this on. Once it's on, you've got messages in the cloud or iMessages in iCloud. So that's one of the major features in this particular update. Now, one of the other major features is AirPlay 2. Now you can't really see it here, but AirPlay in general will allow you to send audio or video from your phone to different devices. AirPlay 2 enables pairing of stereo devices to your iPhone or your HomePod. So maybe you have two HomePods and you want them to play in stereo, it will allow that pairing. It will also allow you to play multi-room audio. So if you have multiple speakers, you can go to home here and pair it to different devices and play it all over the place. So depending on what you want and what you have in your home or where you're at, you can play it to different things. You can use your voice to control AirPlay 2 enabled speakers, and you can also take a call on them as well. Now there's a lot of other features in here too that you're not going to be able to see that they've fixed, bug fixes and improvements. And I didn't show you the build number, so let's take a look at that. And this build number is 15F79. And the reason I show you the build number is to let you know which version you're on. Usually those short versions are the final versions. Now there's some other improvements and fixes as well. We won't see any other major features until iOS 12, the first beta which will be showing off in a week or so on Monday. So if we go back here you'll see on Monday June 4th we'll see that. But there's a few security bugs and fixes. One of those enables teachers to assign their students reading activities in iBooks using the schoolwork app, so if you're using that. Also there's some bugs in messages when you add some certain characters, they'll cause the whole application and your phone to lock up and then messages won't reopen. It fixes those issues. It also addresses issues if you're using Safari. And if you're using Safari with Google Docs or Gmail, there were some issues, this fixes that. Also in the health app, if we go to health, in the health app, there were some issues where it fixes an issue that could prevent users from changing what apps can access their health data. It resolves an issue that could cause an app to appear in an incorrect location on the home screen. So some people had some freezing and weird bugs. It also fixes an issue where CarPlay audio could become distorted. And also on top of that fixes an issue where selected music from your iPhone could fail playing music over Bluetooth or USB if you're using the music app. So it fixes all of these things. There's probably security fixes in the background as well that it doesn't talk about, but all of those things are fixed in this update. Now the big changes are going to be coming with iOS 12 on June 4th, like I mentioned before, and I look forward to seeing all of those and I'll cover those in a following update video. Now I did run a Geekbench, but it wasn't so good because the phone was a little bit warm, but performance overall seems to be pretty good. And battery on the betas for me was good towards the end. Now battery does take a while to figure out what it's going to be like because it takes a few days to see how the battery is. My battery health is at 100%, but you'll see it's supporting peak performance and it's going to take a while to update the usage. So I'll be, be sure to do a follow-up video and update you on that. But if you have anything else you found that's major, let me know in the comments below. Oh, there was one bug. Let's see if it crashes it. If you go to notifications, go to FaceTime, go to show as banners, turn it off, it still crashes. So that's still a bug in this particular update. Apple has acknowledged it. 
they just haven't fixed it yet. So maybe look for an 11.4.1 or something like that. If you're on an iPhone 8 Plus, you'll now have a new wallpaper. I saved this wallpaper and here it is. This is the product red wallpaper. This is available on the 8 Plus if you have that phone. But let me know if you found anything else major in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.